Father, I thank you that you are the almighty God. I come into your presence with a heart of repentance. I ask you, Father, to forgive me for anything and everything I have done to allow the enemy any inroads into my life. God, I ask you to forgive me of my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Make me white as snow. Help me, Lord, to discern a thing. Help me, Lord, to understand the source of the warfare coming against my life. Help me get to the root of the issue, God. Help me root out every demon power that has lodged itself in my life. Anywhere, everywhere they may be found. Root them out, God. Expose them. For an enemy exposed is an enemy defeated. I ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, to make me keen in the spirit. Help me see what I cannot see. Help me understand to know, to walk in realms of power and authority that I have not yet attained to. Leadership of your spirit submitted fully to your heart. God, I thank you that you have given me authority over every demon assignment that has come against me. It may come, but it won't stand. It may come, but it won't stand. It may come, but it won't stand. I command every demon power that has risen up against me to bow to the Christ on the inside of me. I decree that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, but every tongue that has risen is being condemned. Every tongue that is wagging is being set still. Every tongue that is speaking ill words against me is bound in the name of Jesus. We sever the tongues of the enemy. We sever the wagging tongues, the gossiping tongues, the cursing tongues in Jesus' name. We say no. We will not receive your curses. We will not receive your witchcraft. We resist it. I thank you, Lord, that when we resist the enemy and submit ourselves to you, he's got to go. He's got to flee. I declare that the enemy that has come at me one way is going to flee seven ways. I thank you, Lord, that the enemy is fleeing from my presence even now. He thought he had me surrounded. He thought he had me in a corner. But my God, you are surrounding the enemy who's surrounding me. You you are... I see enemies fleeing left, right, back and forth, scrambling around. I see confusion in the enemy's camp. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you that the enemy is confounded. The enemy is confused. The enemy is overcome by the blood of the Lamb of God and by the word of my testimony. Oh, Jesus, I testify that I am the head and not the tail. I testify that I am above and not beneath. I testify that I am an overcomer. Jesus, I testify that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world, I testify. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even my faith. I testify that God always leads me into triumph in Christ Jesus. I testify. I overcome because I testify. I overcome because I speak the word only. I overcome because his word is in my mouth. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It divides between the soul and the spirit, the joints and the marrows. It's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So Father, help me to meditate on you so I can stay in perfect peace in the midst of the warfare. Help me to keep my mind on things above, not on things of the earth. I don't want to be deceived by the smoke and mirrors of the enemy. I don't want to be distracted, taken off track, delayed by demon powers, but I will focus on you because you are worthy of my praise. I will focus on you, the author and finisher of my faith. I will focus on you, Jesus, the one who perfects me, the one who strengthens me, the one who upholds me by his mighty right hand. I thank you, Lord, that I am victorious in every battle. So I speak to witchcraft and I say, go far from me. You have no right. You have no authority. You are bound up and set back in the name of Jesus. I push back the darkness of witchcraft. I push back the darkness of infirmity, of distraction, of delay, of confusion. And I thank you, Lord, even now that by my words, the flip, the script is flipping. By my words, the script is flipping. By my words,
words, the script is flipping. I am not oppressed. I am the oppressor of demon powers. I am not set back. I am setting back demons who are coming in droves. I am more powerful because I am in Christ. It's you alone who makes me so. Apart from you, I can do nothing, but I am not apart from you, Jesus. I am in you and through you, I will ex through you, I will execute your will in the earth. I will enforce your word in my life. I will do it for your glory. I refuse to give the enemy glory, but I will glorify the one true living God, the God who's seated high above the circle of the earth, looking down on me, watching over his word to perform it in my life. The God who's with me, the faithful God, Jehovah Jireh, the healing God, the God of peace, my victory banner. I will celebrate you on the good days and the bad because you are with me, Emmanuel. You'll never leave me, always for me, fighting my battles, protecting me, helping me, showing me things to come. You are exalted in my life. So I speak to every demon power trying to exalt itself in my life, trying to release vain imaginations that exalt itself above the word of God over my life. And I command you once and for all to get out of my presence. I command you once and for all to flee. I command you once and for all to be bound to shut up and leave go now in Jesus name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Would you help us, God, to see the Jezebel in us, oh dear? Would you help us, oh God, to see the Jezebelic tendencies, those thought processes that have been influenced by a demonic spirit? Would you help us, Lord, to see those ways in us? Like Hosea said, examine your ways. Oh God, would you help us today to examine our ways? We don't want to be like Jezebel. We don't want to be like Ahab. We don't want to be like Ahab. Absalom. We don't want to be like these nefarious characters in your word that wreaked havoc on your people. God. So Jesus today, would you help us to repent? Would you help us to turn from our wicked ways, the ways of the world, the ways of the spirits that are not like you, the demon powers that are not like you. God, we don't want to be witchcraft releasers. We want to be glory releasers. So help us to see the Jezebel in us. Help us to see the Judas in us. Help us to see those tendencies of our flesh, which are uh, pulled and pricked and prodded and perverted by spirits that want us to get on the wrong side of the word, that want us to stand on the wrong side of God, that want us to combat heaven, heaven itself, instead of the demons in the second heaven. Oh, Jesus, would you help us to get the Jezebel out of us? Would you help us, Lord, to get the, uh, the Delilahs out of us, oh God? Would you help us, God? Would you help us to get the souls out of us? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Don't act all high and righteous and mighty and pious on me right now. Oh, Jesus, there's no good thing in our flesh. I said there's no good thing in our flesh. There's no good thing in our flesh. There's no good thing in our flesh. But Christ in us, the deliverer, will deliver us from this body of death. Christ in us, this deliverer, will deliver us from this evil tendency. Christ in us, the deliverer, will deal with things that are in us that we've never seen before. So we say, yes, God, deliver us from evil. Yes, God, show us where we've agreed with the devil. Yes, God, show us where our minds are unrenewed to your word. And there's darkness enveloping our lives. Oh, Jesus, help us, Lord, to break all ties, all soul ties, all ties of agreement, all ties, all ties, all ties with demon powers, all ties with wrong voices, all ties with spirits of error, all ties with abominations, all ties. Oh God, help us to break all ties. By your spirit, oh God, help us to break all ties, all ties with evil, all ties with the things that you hate, all ties, all ties. Help us to break all ties so that you can break the bonds. Oh Jesus, we've got to do our part. We've got to do our part. We've got to do our part. We've got to renounce it. We've got to renounce it. We've got to renounce it. Don't you see? You can't walk with someone unless you've agreed oh Jesus if we've agreed with the devil if we're walking with the devil if we're walking like the devil would you help us Jesus that we might break out 
of agreement break through of our wrong thought processes and see the light Jesus help us see the light we don't want to walk in a bondage. We don't want to walk with fetters wrapped around us, with chains around our ankles. Oh God, we don't want to walk like the world walks. We don't want to talk like the world talks. We don't want to think like the world thinks. And we certainly don't want to walk like demons walk. Roaming around, looking for someone to devour, looking for the competition, looking for some gossip, looking for some juicy gossip. Oh, Jesus, would you help us to stop acting like our adversary, the devil? <laughs> Jesus, help us to break all ties. Help us to break all agreement. Help us to break out of this deception that we found ourselves in. Oh, Jesus, I don't know who I'm talking to. Someone's getting offended. Would you help us, God, to break free from offense? Because it is the bait of Satan. Would you help us, Lord, to break free from apathy that we just don't care about anything or anyone but ourselves? Oh, Jesus, would you help us break out of complacency? Would you help us break out of lukewarmness? Was that more acceptable to you today if I make it about behaviors rather than demons that are binding you? Does that make it easier for you to swallow today if I make it about the fruit of the demonic powers that are enslaving you? Does that make it a little better? Okay, we'll do that. Father, would you help us break free from the fear? Would you help us break free from the apathy would you help us break out Lord of the depression would you help us to break out Lord of the anxiety would you help us to break out Lord of the bitterness would you help us to break out Lord of the unforgiveness would you help us to break out Lord of the resentment would you help us to break out Lord of the jealousy would you help us to break free Lord from the envy would you help us to break free Lord from the anger would you help us to break free Lord from the scorning ah Jesus you are the freedom bringer you are the deliverer God Jesus help us Lord to break free from the agreement with the things that cause the bondage in our hearts in our lives in our minds in our emotions oh Jesus father in the name of Jesus we repent for giving the enemy our ear. God, we ask you to forgive us for allowing the morsels of deception to enter our soul, for allowing the leaven of the enemy to sway our mind and make us double-minded, feeling strong in the Lord one day and feeling weak like a grasshopper the next day. We repent, God, for allowing the enemy of our soul to intimidate us when greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world we know better we know who we are in christ and we allow the enemy to talk us out of what we know with his lies 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 he's the father of lies he's a murderer he comes to steal kill and destroy we repent forgive us god for allowing the enemy a toehold in our soul through his threats, his defiant, intimidating threats, his blackmail. We're calling his bluff because we know that God is for us. And if God is for us, then who can be against us? We know that God always leads us into triumph in Christ Jesus. We know that the greater one dwells on the inside of us. We know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We know that our God is the glorious, victorious warrior God. We know that our God has never lost a battle and he never will. We know that our, we will prosper in everything we put our hand to. So we put our hand around the sword of the spirit even now in Jesus name. We take a firm grip on the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, now in Jesus' name. And we begin to swing the sword against the enemy of our soul, the enemy who threatens us day and night, the enemy who brings a disease and trauma and drama to the edge of our doorstep, threatening to come across the threshold. And we say, no mas, devil. We say no. We take authority over every threatening weapon now in Jesus' name. We take authority over every threat of sickness and disease in Jesus' name.
We take authority over every threat over our inheritance in Jesus' name. We take authority over every threat that the enemy can come up with in his wicked mind in Jesus' name. And we thank you, Lord. Oh, I see these threats falling to the ground. I see these words falling to the ground. I see these words failing to prosper in your life. Even now, I see a vision of these words just falling down from the second heaven. And you've got an umbrella and you are shielded from the threats of the enemy. As you swing the sword, the enemy is fleeing from you. He's continuing for a season to launch the fiery darts, but you are protected. You are under the shadow of the Most High, under his wings. You are under his protection. He is defending you even now from these weapons. I see angel armies. I see umbrellas in the spirit. I see protection. I see a rejection of the enemy's lies. I see you rising up in boldness because the righteous are as bold as a lion. I see you running to the battle line and taking off the head of Goliath. I see you going forth with the confidence, knowing who you are in Christ. I see the threats falling to the ground. I see them bouncing up and going back to the enemy's camp from which they were sent. I decree victory over you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are the head and not the tail above only and not beneath. I decree and declare that you are triumphant in God, that you will not lose. You cannot lose as you follow your Savior, as you follow Jehovah Jireh, as you follow Jehovah Rapha, as you follow Jehovah Nisi. He is your victory banner. I decree breakthrough where there were threats. I decree double breakthrough, triple breakthrough, quadruple breakthrough. I declare breakthrough on every side, every place the enemy threatens. I declare breakthrough. Every place the enemy came to steal, I declare breakthrough. I say, I declare breakthrough in the name of Jesus and nothing can stop it. Nothing by any means shall stop it. Nothing in no way shall hinder it. No one shall harass you, but you will rise up at the first inkling of the enemy's plan and shut it down and shut it out. And that weapon of threat is not prospering. It is falling. It is faltering. It is failing. And you are victorious in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I decree every sickness and disease dies when it comes in contact with your body in the name of Jesus. I decree every nefarious demon power that's working to distress you, overwhelm you, and set you back will stagger and fall on his face in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, today that you have given us the power of the decree. Help us to know who we are in Christ. Remind us to decree a thing so that we can see it established. I thank you, Lord, today that every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that you are the Christ, Yeshua, the one true living God, and the enemies of our soul, those demon powers that seek to destroy us, to kill us, to shame us and to blame us. They are staggering. They are falling. They are failing. They are faltering. They shall not succeed. They shall not prosper. They shall not prevail in the name of Jesus. Today, the enemy is defeated in my life. Today, the, come on, somebody say it with me. Today, the enemy is defeated in my mind. Today, the enemy is defeated in my marriage. Come on, today, the enemy is defeated in my family. David said, today, Goliath, I'm going to take off your head and feed it to the birds. Today, I'm going to have victory over the evil one. Come on, today, I'm going to march into my workplace and pray without ceasing before anybody shows up to set the atmosphere because I'm tired of dealing with all the stuff going on in the workplace. Today, I'm going to take my authority. I'm not going to wait for some intercessors to rally around me. Today, I'm going to rise up and fight my own battle. Today, I'm going to worship the Lord with everything in me. Today, I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. Today, 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 come on somebody, faith is now. 
The Holy Spirit says, today, if you hear his voice, I decree that today I hear his voice. I decree that today I listen to his word. I decree that today I respond to his spirit. I decree that today I will follow his leadership. I decree that today I will see things I have not seen before. I decree that today God will heal me. God will deliver me. I decree today God is changing me from the inside out. I decree that today I'm stepping into a new realm of faith. I decree that today I'm stepping into a new glory. I decree that today I, my, my ear will be sharper than it's ever been before. I decree that today I will prophesy the will of the Lord over my life. I decree that today whenever I pray, God hears me. And if he hears me, he answers me. I decree that today I'm stepping into prayer answers. Come on, somebody begin to decree and declare a thing with me today. We live in the past. We live with worry of the future, but we are living right now today. God is the God of today. Faith is now right now. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it today. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Come on, this is his day. This is a day of victory. I decree it's a day of breakthrough. I decree it's a day of restoration. I decree it's a day of payback. Come on, begin to decree over your life what you know that God wants to do today. Begin to declare over your life what you discern God wants to do today. I declare today I will finish another book. I declare that today I will connect with people who are important to me. I declare that today I will get those projects finished that have been lingering and lingering and lingering. I declare that today I'll get my taxes done. Come on. I declare that today. Come on. Put your determination where your desire is and begin to declare a thing. Begin to speak the word only. Begin to confess what the Lord says about you. I declare that today I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I declare that today greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And that's always true. It's always true. But what are you declaring today? What are you decreeing today? What you declare today, it might be what you get tomorrow. What you declare today might be what you get next ne in the next five minutes. What you declare today might go off into your future and bring in the blessings that have evaded you. What are you decreeing and declaring with your mouth? What are you decreeing and declaring with your mouth? Come on, somebody help me today. I decree today, Shurabashi, the enemy trembles in my presence. I declare today that I am as bold as a lion and I will not back down from the fight, but I will run to the battle line with my sling and my stone, with the sword of the spirit, with my full armor, and I will overcome every giant that has threatened me in the past. I said, I declare the giants, the giants that threatened me in the past are falling today. I declare the demons that haunted me in the past are falling today. I declare the addictions that held me in the past are breaking today. I declare the demons that held me up in the past are bound today. Come on, somebody get off the program today. Hallelujah. What are you declaring today? What are you decreeing today? Jesus, Jesus, this day, Jesus, this day, this day, this day is a day that you have made and you want to do a new thing. You want to give somebody a new beginning. You want to help somebody escape the pits of the past and go into the palace of tomorrow. Jesus, we declare that what the enemy meant for harm you will turn for our good. We declare that the enemy who thought he had us under his feet is under our feet. We declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper, but we shall condemn every tongue that rises up against us. We declare the gossiping wagging tongues are bound and severed in the name of Jesus. We declare our allegiance to the one true living God. We declare every idol that has been set up in our life to blind us, to bind us, is falling and crumbling in the name of Jesus. Come on, what are you declaring today? What are you decreeing today? Break call in your future. Call in your now. Faith is now. 
Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I decree that every good and perfect gift from above that belongs to me is coming down now from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. I decree that what's been held up and held back is being released into my bosom in the name of Jesus. I decree the seeds that I've sown are bringing a harvest that I cannot contain. I declare as I sow and be faithful in my finances, God is opening up a window of heaven he's going to pour out a blessing i cannot contain i declare i am in line for a net breaking blessing i declare that i am healed from the inside out i declare every tormenting spirit that has come to 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 to, 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 to oppress my soul and keep me bound is broken is sent back to the pit of hell where it came from in the name of jesus i declare i am prosperous in everything i do i declare everything i put my hand to prospers. I declare what the enemy stole. He's got to pay back seven times. I declare that I live to many nations and never have to borrow. I declare that I am the head and not the tail above and not beneath. I declare, I declare, I declare, I declare this is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad. I declare I walk in truth. I declare I walk in love. I declare I walk in power. I declare I walk in Holy Ghost anointing. I declare I walk in wisdom. I declare I walk in grace. I declare these things in the name of Jesus. This is who I am and who I will be. I am becoming. God is faithful. I declare he's faithful to complete the good work that he started in me. I declare God is my author and my finisher. He's the author and finisher of my faith. He's the perfecter of my soul. I declare my allegiance to the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare I I am free who the sun sets free is free indeed I declare where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty and the Spirit of the Lord is in me I decree it I declare it I proclaim it from the rooftops I prophesy it over my life in the name of Jesus Jesus Come on, declare it. Decree a thing and it shall be established. Declare it. We declare we come into agreement with every word spoken out of the mouth of God. We don't live by bread alone, but we incline our ear to the Holy One of Israel who speaks to our heart, who gives us battle plans, who get, makes our, uh, I declare my fingers are trained for battle and my hands for war. I declare that I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. I declare that I am the battle axe of the Lord. I declare that I am a sharp threshing instrument. I declare that I am a kingdom citizen with rights and responsibilities I declare that I will occupy what God has given me until he comes back I declare I am a good steward I declare come on what are you declaring today what are you decreeing today I told you there's fire catch the fire catch the fire catch the fire catch the fire. I declare every generational curse is being unraveled, broken, and demolished in the name of Jesus. I decree it. I declare it. I declare promotion is my portion. I declare increase is my prize. I declare that uh, that God will show me hidden treasures of darkness. I declare that I that, that, that the God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills will be will, will provide for me. The silver is his and the gold is his. I I declare divine connections. I declare new doors. I declare windows of opportunity. I declare it in the name of Jesus. Come on, catch the fire. I'm about to release the fire. I'm about to release the fire. I'm about to release the fire. Wherever you are, lift up your hands because some of you are going to be knocked over by the fire and the wind. Some of you are going to be encountered by the oil of glory. Some of you are going to see. Some of you are going to hear. Some of you are going to speak in tongues like you've never spoken before. I'm about to release the fire. I'm ready to release the fire. Come on, somebody lift up your hands. There's no distance in the spirit. There's no distance in the spirit 
spirit. Get your faith up high. I'm about to release the fire. I'm going to release it when I count to three. You got your hands up. You got your faith high. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three. I release the fire of God to burn away the unbelief to burn away the doubt, to burn away the fear. I release the fire of God to burn away everything that hinders love. I release the fire of God to burn away the trauma, to burn away the pain, to burn away the hurts, to burn away the wounds. I decree double fire on the witchcraft that oppresses you, on the witchcraft that makes you want to give up, on the witchcraft that confuses your mind. I release double fire on the accuser of the brethren. I release double fire. I release double fire on the enemy of your soul in the name of Jesus. Lord, fire us up. Fill us with fire. Baptize us in the Holy Spirit. Baptize us with fire. Burn away anything in us that doesn't look like you. Help us, Lord, to press in to new levels of freedom, new levels of glory, new levels of a hope, new levels of faith, new levels of truth, new levels of wisdom. Clean us, purge us of everything that doesn't look like you. Let your fire, let your refining fire do its work in us. Refine us. Let us come out like silver. Let us come out like gold. Let us come out not smelling like smoke. Although the enemy's fire is hot, your fire is an all-consuming fire. Consume us, Lord, with your fire. Consume us with your glory. Consume us, consume us, consume us. I declare in the name of Jesus, we are free. Father, I thank you. I give you praise and honor and glory. You are the triumphant God. You're the creator God. You're the warrior God. You're the defender God. And you are my defender. You are my warrior. You're the God who triumphed over the principalities and the powers, making an open show of them for my sake. You did it for me. You overcame so I could overcome. You conquered so that I could be deemed more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. And I praise you. I thank you. I honor you for who you are, for what you've done. You're my forerunner. You're my rear guard. You surround me with favor like a shield. You've given me the shield of faith. And I praise you. I honor you. I glorify you because you are good. You are great. You are magnanimous, and I lift up your name. Oh, forgive me, God, if my lips have forgotten to praise you. Forgive me, God, if I have failed to give you the honor that is due your name. If I've praised you with my lips, but not with my heart, forgive me. If I've been overcome by fears and worries and doubts, if I've allowed other voices to get into my head, God, would you forgive me? If the works of my hands have grieved your heart, would you forgive me? If the words of my mouth have quenched your spirit, would you forgive me? If I have done anything that I know of that I don't know of, if I've thought anything, if I've said anything, if I've walked in any place that you've not called me to walk, if I've connected with anyone with whom you have not called me to connect, you warned me to disconnect. God, forgive me. Cleanse me from unrighteousness. Help me to see what I could not see before. Show me things to come, but show me also where I went wrong. Help me not to keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. The same mistakes over and over and over again. I don't want to walk around the same mountain, meeting with the same devils, meeting with the same opposition, meeting with the same warfare. I want to rise up and cast the mountain into the sea. I want to walk in that measure of faith, that level of faith, the faith that overcomes the world. God, help me reset me. God, help me see the enemy because an enemy exposed is an enemy defeated. 
I paralyze all aggression addressed at my soul in Jesus name I speak to every demon that's trying to battle against my mind battle against my blessings battle against my fortitude battle against my victory and I command you to bow in Jesus name I paralyze you in the name of the Lord I neutralize all problems originating from the mistakes that I made God you're forgiving you're merciful you're gracious you're slow to anger you're abounding in love you're great in compassion oh God so I neutralize these problems knowing that you will work it all out together for my good when I confessed my sin oh Jesus you cast it into the sea of forgetfulness it is as far as the east is from the west father I ask you to open up all good doors of my life oh Jesus that these demonic powers have tried to shut I decree anti breakthrough designs against my life are shattered into irreparable irreplaceable uh, I paralyze all satanic antagonism from the womb in the name of Jesus I command open disgrace on the mask of the enemy in Jesus name expose yourself show yourself an enemy exposed is an enemy defeated I come against all the backbiting spirits influencing people to come against me in Jesus name I break the power of these evil rulers of darkness that have come to encroach upon my light I say that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world so I sever the wagging tongues I bind the peeping and muttering spirits in the name of Jesus I bind and blind the monitoring spirits that are spying out my blessings that are spying out my promised land in the name of Jesus I command every demon power I command every demon power that has risen up against me with lies to fall to the ground in Jesus name I decree the lies of the enemy fall to the ground now in Jesus name I decree that every tongue that has risen up against me in the name of Jesus shall be condemned I decree that these words these weapons of words that have been formed and launched as grenades to destroy what I am building shall be destroyed by double fire in the name of Jesus every word cursed released against me I break it in the name of Jesus I don't just bind it I break it I don't just bind it I break it I don't just bind it I break it every word cursed I break the powers of these demonic sayings and sentences over my life and I reverse the curse I send it back to the sender I send it back to the enemy's camp I send it back to the pit of hell from whence it came I thank you Lord that the demon powers that have come against me they will flee seven ways they've got to go not just one way not just two ways they've got to go not just three ways not just four ways Ways, they've got to go these demon powers that have come against me they've got to go not just five ways not just six ways they've got to flee seven ways in the name of Jesus God would you help me would you help me to see the assignment so crystal clearly that I have full confidence in your ability in me to overcome swiftly God help us we don't want to fight in long long ongoing protracted never-ending battles but we want to pull out the sword swiftly we want your word to run swiftly oh Jesus into the enemy's camp we send your word and it shall not return void but it shall accomplish what you sent it to do we're gonna send your word because your word prospers it was your word prospers yeah your word prospers where you send it your word prospers where we send it so we send your word only we don't have to fret we don't have to worry we don't have to wonder we're going to speak the word only we're going to release the word of God we're going to wield the sword of the spirit it is written every false 
accusation that has risen up against me shall be condemned. I dismantle false accusations now in the name of Jesus. I dismantle legal maneuvers trying to orchestrate themselves against me in Jesus' name. I say that no weapon, no legal weapon, no spiritual weapon, no flesh weapon formed against me shall prosper. All of these weapons, they're carnal. They're not mighty. 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 God is mighty and the spirit of might rests upon me. So I forgive those who accuse me and I bless those who accuse me. And I ask you, Lord, to forgive those who accuse me, your servant, your child, your son, your daughter. Oh, Jesus, I'm asking you, we're asking you to forgive those who accused us. Forgive them, God. Show mercy upon their soul because they do not realize that they have been used as puppets in the hand of Jezebel, puppets in the hand of Leviathan, that twisting serpent, puppets in the hand of the enemy. God, forgive them because they don't know what spirit they are of. When John and James wanted to call down fire against the Samarians because they would not let you, Lord, walk through their territory, Jesus rebuked them. You don't know what spirit you're of. You don't know what spirit you're of. Father, these ones who have come against us, they don't know what spirit they're of. They don't know what spirit they're of. So help them, Lord, to see the truth that sets them free from the enemy's puppet strings. Help them, Lord, to see the truth that allows them to escape the consequences of their rash, harsh lies, accusations, and threatenings against me in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, behold their threatenings. Oh, Lord, behold their intimidation tactics. Oh, Lord, behold their threatenings. Oh, Lord, behold their witchcraft. Oh, Lord, behold their curses. Oh, Lord, look upon the ailment of your servant. Look upon the war that's been waged against your servant. Look upon the words that have been released against your servant and show mercy on me, God. Hide me under the shadow of your wings while I regroup so I can rise up. I'll regroup so I can rise up. I'll regroup so I can rise up and defeat the foe. Shall I go up? 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 I shall go up and recover all at the signal of the Lord, at the sign of the noise in the mulberry bushes. When the Lord says, yes, I shall run to the battle line. I shall take out my sling and my stone. I shall release the weapon of the Lord against the enemy of my spirit, the enemy of my destiny, and I shall win. Oh, an enemy exposed is an enemy defeated. I come against every, every lie, whatever form it takes, whatever shape in which it manifests, through whoever whom it comes through. I take authority over every lie as I stand in the truth of the word, as I stand in the shalom of God, as I stand in the victory of Christ, I thank you, Lord, that all these weapons, they're falling. Jesus said, I saw Satan falling from the heavens. And I see the weapons of the enemy being dismantled. I see the weapons of the enemy just coming to pieces, just falling apart. Oh, they're scattering the pieces and parts. They're scattering. They're not, uh, they're, they're not effective. I, I just see the enemy. I see him scrambling because he realizes that the weapon of his warfare ah, is not mighty against the mighty ones. The weapons, the accusations, the lies, the smokes, the mirrors, the intimidations, the witchcraft. His weapons are not mighty. They have power, but they don't have might. They have power, but they don't have might. They have power, but they don't have might. Our weapons, oh Jesus, they're not carnal, but they're mighty for the pulling down of strongholds. So we pull down even the dismantled weapons, lest they be reformed against us. I said we pull down the dismantled weapons, the pieces and the parts, the fragments of the 
sentences. Oh, the ideas that are being concocted in the minds of the wicked. Oh God, we just pull these things down in Jesus name. We pull them down. We pull them down. We pull them down. We pull them down. And we pull these thorns out of our side in the name of Jesus. We pull them out. We pull them out. We pull them out. These fiery darts. We pull them out. We pull them out. We pull them out. These knives of betrayal. We pull them out. We pull them out. We pull them out. We pull them out. Heal us, Lord, from the wounds of warfare. Heal us, Lord, from the lies of the enemy that penetrated our soul, that wounded our spirit, that caused us to second guess ourselves, oh God, that wasted our time. Lord, we want payback. We want payback. We want payback. We want payback. We don't want just what was stolen. We want more because you're the God of more than enough. We want more wisdom for the next battle. We want more joy that leads to more strength. We want more wisdom. We want more peace. We want more kotora babashi. We want more, God. We thank you that you're a God of more. So, Lord, give us more. Help us to, to grab hold of more because we know that it's there for the taking. We praise you and we honor you because there's no other God like you. No other God who is mighty to save. No other God who is mighty in war. No other God who is mighty to deliver us from the clutches of the enemy, the snare of the fowler. We will run into your strong tower and we will be safe. We will ponder. We will debrief. We will learn and we will grow from this attack. But we shall not back up or back down until we see the fullness of the victory manifesting in our lives in Jesus name. So we thank you, Lord, for endurance. And we thank you, Lord, for the strength to keep on going, the strength to keep on pressing, the strength to keep on fighting, the strength to keep on lifting up the shield of faith and swinging the sword of the spirit. God, we thank you, Lord, that you'll give us grace for the warfare. And we stand. And when we've done all we can do, we're going to keep standing. We're not going to sit. We're not going to lie down. We're not going to roll over and play dead. We're not calling a truce. But we will stand and withstand in the evil day because we know there's a better tomorrow. We have hope for the future that you have called us to, the high calling of God, the destiny. Thank you, Lord, for conforming us into the image of Christ. He is the warrior. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the one who's never lost a battle. And we are in him. And he is in us. And we claim victory over our enemies in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you are seated on the throne. You are seated high above the circle of the earth. You are not a man that you should lie. You are not the son of man that you should repent. If you said it in your word, you meant it. If you meant it, you'll follow through upon it. So I come to you, God, boldly, boldly to your throne of grace, boldly to find help and obtain mercy in my time of need. I come to you, God, asking you to purify my hands, to purify my heart, to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. God, I repent. I ask you, Lord, to forgive me of my sins, those things that I've said that has allowed the enemy open access to my life, those things that I've done that have grieved your heart, those things, those thoughts, those deeds that have caused you grief, that have hurt your heart, God, I ask you to forgive me of all disobedience. You tell me in your word to take every thought captive, to cast down the vain imaginations that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God so that when my obedience is fulfilled, I can punish the enemy of my soul with the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So father, I thank you that I am free. I thank you that I am cleansed. I thank you that I am battle ready. I'm armored up. I am prepared for such a time as this, for such a battle as this, for your word tells me that whoever believes in you shall not be put to shame. So I will not stand shame faced by the enemy's maneuvers, by the enemy's tactics, by the enemy's plans, purposes, and weapons in my life. I will not stand shame-faced, but I will stand looking 
at the face of God. He who keeps his mind on you, you will keep him in perfect peace. So I will rest in the battle. I will stand in a place of victory, warring from that place of triumph, moving, living, and having my being in the one who created me, warring in rest, resting in your promises, resting in your ability, resting in your armor, your ways, your ability in me. It's not by might, not by power, but by your strength, says the Lord. I will stand in your strength. You are able to make me stand in this battle, standing with a joyful expression, standing with a confident heart, standing because I will not stand shamefaced in front of my enemies, but I will stand in your glory as I fight with an expectation to win. I decree that I shall bruise Satan under my feet shortly as I stand in Christ. I thank you, Lord. If you are for me, who can be against me? Oh, Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you are for me and no one can stand against me all the days of my life. I thank you, Lord. I break all fellowship with the kingdom of darkness and I stand in awe of the God who created me. I thank you, Lord. Now let every organized strategy of the the hosts of the demonic world against my life be rendered useless in the name of Jesus. I send confusion into the enemy's camp. Oh God, let every demonic influence targeted at destroying my vision, destroying my dream, destroying my family, destroying my ministry, destroying my finances. Let these demonic influences targeting me receive total disappointment in Jesus name. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Let every demonic trap set against my life be shattered to pieces in the name of the mighty one, the holy one of Israel. Oh Jesus. All unfriendly friends militating against my life receive commotion and be disorganized in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let my life, let my ministry, let my prayer life, let everything I do in your name prove to be extremely dangerous for the kingdom of darkness in the name of Jesus. All demonically organized, seductive appearances to pull me down be rendered null and void in Jesus name, my Lord. My Lord, my Lord and my God, raise intercessors to stand in the gap for me always in the name of Jesus. I need reinforcements. I need a backup in the battle. I need those who are willing to fight with me, fight for me, fight through to the end. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I reject all uncontrollable heaviness, regrets, and emotions in the name of Jesus. I cast down depression in Jesus. Jesus name. I cast down oppression in Jesus name. I cast down unrighteous anger that does not accomplish the will, the purpose, and the plan of God in Jesus' name. I cast down discouragement in Jesus' name. I cast down weariness in Jesus' name. I cast down these negative emotions, these overwhelming emotions, the voices that tell me it's not worth it. I cast them down. The voices that try to encourage me to quit and give up, I cast them down. The voices of Jezebel, the voices of witchcraft, the voices of Python, all of these strange voices, I will not follow. Lord, you tell me in your word, you assure me in your word that your sheep hear your voice, that your sheep know your voice. I count myself among your flock in the voice of a stranger. I will not follow the voice of a false prophet. I will not follow the voice of demon powers. I will not follow, but I will follow your voice your voice full of love, your voice full of life, your voice full of meaning, your voice full of strategy and wisdom, counsel and peace. I glorify your name in the midst of the battle. Now, Father, help me. Help me, God. You are my only hope. Help me. Help me, God. You are the only way through. Help me. 
Help me so that my divine spiritual assignments shall not be aborted. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord, not to miscarry what you've called me to put my hand to, not to willfully abort what you've called me to put my hand to, not to give up and quit on what you've given me to put my hand to. I'm putting my hand to the plow, and I decree that no devil in hell shall rip my fingers off that plow. Ah, Jesus, give me a tighter grip. Give me a tighter grip. Give me a tighter grip on the plow that you've called me to put my hand to. For I know that no one, nothing can snatch me from your hand. So help me, Lord. Give me that strength. Teach my hands to battle and my fingers to war that I might be so strong in the spirit that I can grab a hold of a thing and not let go. Give me that bulldog tenacity. Give me that spiritual fervor. Help me, Lord, to see what I've not seen before. Help me to see the victory before I have achieved it. I will not forfeit the battle. I will not give up without a fight. I will fight and I will win. I will fight and I will win. I will fight and I will win in Jesus name. I command I command all organized forces of darkness against my life to receive commotion. Lightning and thunder from God Almighty. I release it into the enemy's camp. Oh, I release commotion, commotion, the commotion, the commotion. I release heavenly commotion into the hordes of hell. And I thank you, Lord, that the enemy's commotion that tried to stop my promotion will be reversed in Jesus' name. I see demotions. I see demotions. I see demotions. I see demotions among those demon powers that have failed to succeed in their mission against me. Let them be shamefaced. Put them to shame once again, O oh Lord, in my life, in Jesus' name. I say, I say, I say all demonically organized networks against my spiritual and physical ambition are put to shame in Jesus' name. I command all demonic mirrors and monitoring spirits against my life to crack to pieces. I bind and blind the monitoring spirits that are reporting back to chief command what I am doing, what I am saying, what I am planning, how I am warring, what I am up to. I break the powers and blind the eyes of these monitoring spirits in Jesus' name. God, dispatch angels, warring angels. Send your angels to camp around me because I do fear your name, O God. I do fear your name, O God. Let the spirit of the fear of the Lord rest upon me even now. Let the spirit of the fear of the Lord rest upon me even now that I would watch my mouth, that I would guard my heart, that I would guard my mind that I would guard my life, that I would guard that which you have given me to steward in the name of Jesus. God, help me to be a good steward. Help me to keep the snake out of the garden. Help me to evict the demonic forces that are in my camp, even if they're operating through people who I trust. Oh God, oh God, oh God, let every ceremony on this issue be soaked in the blood of Jesus and in the fire of the Holy Ghost. I cancel contracts that I've written with my mouth, agreeing with the enemy for his evil plans to come about in my life. And I ask you for your blessing. I break the curse and I ask for the blessing. I break every word curse spoken over my life and I ask you for the blessings that chase me down and overtake me. God help me to step into the generational blessings. Lord, help me step out of the generational generational curses and help me step into the generational blessings. I am blessed in Christ. That is my decree. That is my stance. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, but every tongue that rises up against me shall be condemned. But there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk according to the spirit and not according to the flesh. Oh God, help me walk in your spirit. Help me walk in your presence. Help
help me walk with an awareness that you are with me and greater is he that is in me greater is he that is with me greater is he that is around me greater is he who watches over me than he who is in the world I'm asking you God to be my rear guard you said you would I know you will be my rear guard God be my forerunner God I thank you Lord that you always lead me into triumph in Christ Jesus when I follow you when I follow you when I follow you I cannot lose I will fight the good fight of faith I will step onto the battlefield with a confidence and an authority that every demon must bow to the God in me now I paralyze any attempt by the devil to use and abuse my life in Jesus name I say demon powers you are exposed in the name of Jesus you are exposed in the name of Jesus come out of hiding and flee I see you scutter away saunder off go now in Jesus name you have been exposed I see you you thought you were watching me but I am watching you and I forcibly evict you and all your minions in the name of Jesus I break demonic control Confederates against my life in Jesus name these uh, uh, satanic alliances I break them in Jesus name I dismantle and disband them in Jesus name I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from where my help comes from my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth you will not suffer my foot to be moved Oh Jesus you will not slumber when I am in war but you will rise up and lead me you will fight with me and for me you will show me the way to victory because you are the glorious warrior victorious God you are Jehovah Chereb you are Jehovah Gabor you are the Lord the sword and I serve you I serve you I obey you I choose this day to stand in all of you now let every evil river emanating from the deceased be cut off from my life and redeemed deemed ineffective in Jesus name I cover myself and my family and my vehicle and my finances and everything that I put my hand to with the blood of Jesus I fire back to the sender any planned evil arrows directed against and during whatever spiritual ceremonies have been enacted over my life oh Lord let my body soul and spirit oh just burn for you just 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 burn for you just just burn for you I paralyze and render impotent any negative speech even invited curses what I spoke over myself even masked evil statements against me from other people in Jesus name Oh Jesus Oh Jesus Oh Jesus take control take total control of the enemy plans and activities scatter them abroad rise up O oh Lord and let your enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus fight on my behalf war on my behalf Oh Jesus the battle belongs to you the battle belongs to you the battle belongs to you and you are a glorious warrior God so I bow to you before and after and during the battle I will always bow to you I surrender to you I walk with you I talk with you and you lead me and guide me and I give you glory I give you honor because I know the effectual fervent prayer of a right Righteous person makes tremendous power available dynamic in its working I thank you Lord for the truth bombs that I have sent into the enemy's camp right now and I know they hit their target because you led my prayer I know they're going to affect the enemy's camp because I released your word over these situations and I claim the victory and I say I am triumphant I am victorious I am the winner in this bout to Today, now, forever, and always, in Jesus' name, amen and amen.